Today we're making one of Fabio and mine's favourite suppers, which is a really easy fish pie. I think people are often put off by fish because it's a bit, it, it smells when you cook it and then, you, and then the grill still smells and fish pie, actually, you don't have that problem. Now, I want you to do the mash, please. Yep. So I have cooked them and drained them. They're just over there, they're still nice and hot. I think the secret to smooth mash is to mash it really, really, really well before you add anything to it. Now I've got another pan here that I'm going to make the sauce in for the fish pie. Um, I've just put a bit of heat on, a bit of oil. I think leeks are really lovely in a fish pie. So I'm just going to chop these quite finely. Now one of the good things about a fish pie is that you can make individual portions. I'm putting mine into little tins and we can either cook them all or we can cook half of them and freeze half of them. And the frozen ones, we can just take those out and eat them as and when. I think you need to be quite careful with the leeks because you don't want them to catch. You want just enough heat to let them soften gently. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I've got a question. Yes. Could you use uh, potato waffles on top? Of a fish pie? Yes, theoretically. You could do a chip topped or a rusty topped pie. You could use sweet potatoes or very thin sliced potatoes as well. Can you pass me that lid? The big one? Yes, please. And just pop that on. And we're just going to give these a few minutes just to soften down a bit, get a little bit of steam building. Your mash looks really good. And um, there's a little block of cheese here. Mm -hmm. Can you grate it? Only grate half of it. Keep the other half Only to half. go over the top. I'm just going to quickly chop some garlic. What's your favourite thing to cook with garlic then, Fabio? Um, chicken pasta. Whose recipe was that? I found it on Instagram. Did you? Yeah. It wasn't one of mine, was it, Fabio? No, it wasn't one of yours. Mm. How did it turn out? It wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> now, my leeks are really nice and softened. But I'm going to pop the garlic in now. Just give that a quick stir. Now, next, I'm going to add a little bit of mustard. And I think mustard is quite a traditional thing to add to a white sauce or a cheesy sauce. About half a teaspoon, a little bit more. Now this is really easy to make and the recipe is in the description below. What we need to do is add a bit of milk. The milk? Yeah, because we put in the mash on top of the fish pie, um, it needs to be quite soft, otherwise it'd be quite difficult to, to spread out. All right, we've got about four tablespoons here. I'm just gonna tip that in. got some flour here, in that goes, that needs to cook just for a minute or so, just to take away that floury flavour. If you skip this stage, mm -hmm. if you don't cook it for a minute, I think it always tastes a little bit of flour, it, the raw flavour never goes away. You want to start slowly adding the milk to the leeks, and if you add it all in in one go, you'll get quite a lot of lumps, so we're just doing it a little bit at a time. We don't want no lumps. Now let's look at the fish we're going to use. Now, do you know what this one is? Haddock. Yeah, it's smoked haddock. And I think that no fish pie is complete without some smoked haddock in. It just gives it, I don't know, it gives it that depth of flavor. You can buy a frozen mix called pie mix that you could just tip it straight in. And that's got all your favorite things in. Or what else do you think you could put into a pie? Hmm? Like cod? Have you stopped listening? I was just thinking of the bubbles. But I think this combination of raw king prawns and smoked haddock is a real winner. So should we get it into the mixture? Let's do. If you're going to make this and freeze it before baking, I would let the sauce cool and put the cold fish into the cold sauce and use cold mash and then freeze it like that. Layer, layer one of your little tins with parchment and freeze it uncooked. And then when you're ready, just leave it to thaw completely and bake it in the tin. Mm -hmm. We don't want to cook the fish now, we just want to coat it in the sauce and it'll cook while it bakes. Cool. Parsley, I think, for colour and also the flavour. Right, Fabio, I think you can pop that into the dishes now. Oh, I'm kind of scared to do that. Do you want me to do it? Like no, I'm you can do it. it. Okay, what we'll do is I'll hold it close All right. and then you pop it in. What we're going to do now is just put some mash over the top and then with your fork, just spread it out. Try not to press too hard, otherwise... 
What we've got to do now, Fabio, is put a bit of cheese on the top. If you just grate it evenly over the top of each one. I think you're really good at cooking, Fabio. I think you're really good. And you're learning loads all the time. I think lockdown has made a big difference to you. I think the lesson for you is not to be using other people's recipes that I haven't given you. On the recent um, Instagram post, it said, loads of people I'll show you saying, I really like Fabio, Fabio's really cool, Fabio's really cute. What's the audience rate? Okay, shh, carry on, we'll talk about it later. Great, so now do you want to pop that into the oven for about half an hour? Half and what, hour? Yeah, and we need to make sure that the fish is completely cooked through. What temperature? It's on at 200. What would you think of this, this mm -hmm. week on? Mm, why not? Inside it. Next time we'll do that. Go in the freezer. Is that a cat meow? Yeah, it's a meow for you. Yeah. You can smell the fish. Yeah. Well, there's a cat that likes a fish pie. Whose is this one we're eating, mine or yours? Mine, isn't it? This is your one. That's getting scoffed. Yeah. <laughs>